The attorney who walked Casey Anthony out of jail 10 years ago now revealing new details about his most recent high profile case. Jose Baez opens up to News 6 about the murder trial and suicide of former NFL player Aaron Hernandez and the difference between his two big cases. Investigator Mike DeForest with the interview you will see only on News 6. Aaron had heard of me and he wrote me a letter while he was in, in prison. When attorney Jose Baez first met Aaron Hernandez, the former Florida Gator and New England Patriots tight end was already serving a life sentence for the murder of his friend Odin Lloyd. Hernandez was about to go on trial again for the shooting deaths of two other men. People think this he was just some hothead thug who um, had it all and threw it all away. Not the case. Not the case at all. In Baez's new book, Unnecessary Roughness, Inside the Trial and Final Days of Aaron Hernandez, the attorney reveals how he successfully fought those double murder charges. My life, what, what's changed the most, I think, is the opportunities that I'm given to participate in these types of cases. <laughs> Ten years ago, Baez was a little-known attorney who had just taken on a client named Casey Anthony. He says he found her case easier to defend, in part because Hernandez was already a convicted murderer. He was also a male. He wasn't a, a pretty uh, Caucasian girl with no criminal record. Uh, he's got all these tattoos all over him. He's huge. If Aaron has a beef with someone who's five foot seven tall, he doesn't have to go and get a gun to set him straight. Just five days after the jury found Hernandez not guilty of double murder, the football player hanged himself in his prison cell. I woke up one morning uh, to a flood of text messages and, and found out that he had committed suicide. And I had spoken to him hours earlier, and he was so happy and excited for his future. I never saw it coming. Never saw it coming. And that, and, and, that I can only attribute to the disease. That disease is chronic traumatic encephalopathy, also known as CTE. Boston University researchers say it was the most severe CTE they'd ever seen in a brain that young. He had the brain damage of someone who had been playing in the league for about 18 years. In his book, Baez describes how CTE may have played a role in Hernandez's troubled life and his death. More than 100 other deceased NFL players have also shown signs of the disease. Any parent who allows their child to play tackle football is committing child abuse. Baez says the link between football and CTE is no different than how smoking causes lung cancer. He's now representing Hernandez's fiance and daughter in a lawsuit against the NFL. Mike DeForest, News 6.